Hello everybody, and welcome. Today we are building an Aegis XP farm, of course, which is what you can see behind me now. This farm, apart from XP, gives us Nether Quartz, Emeralds, Gold, and Cleansing Crystal, all dropped by the Aegis, of course. Okay, now, let's have a look. Got my little entrance build here. This is our little kill room. This is our spawning ground. All of our Aegis flock through here. Aggroed by Johnny over there, who is just a zombie. And we can then simply kill them like a saw. Alrighty. Rinse and repeat. XP comes through here. That is simply flowing water. And our items get pushed through there into these hoppers. These hoppers just simply going into this here chest. Giving us, like I said, emeralds. Nether Quartz, Gold, and Cleansing Crystals. You can of course increase these if you have got looting on your weapon, if you need more Nether Quartz for building and so on. Okay, the noise you guys, you guys can hear is them being plagued. Because they are Aegis, they are quite beefy, which doesn't make this farm that easy, particularly if you're early game and you haven't got a strong weapon. So what I've done is, we have a bit of poison there where they move through, affecting them with plague. As you can see, look at their life levels there. It plagues them, which effectively poisons them, leaving all of them on a nice little kill range for us. So they are in one shot range. As you can see, there he is being plagued. Don't stand closer than this, by the way. So, there. If I were to stand here, you guys will see I'll get the plague effect check top left. There we go. And I have been plagued. So, don't stand too close to these guys, otherwise you'll get plagued as well. Stand around here. You'll be fine. And then they are simply in one kill range each time. For those of you guys, by the way, watching this, who are builders, and I know there are some of you guys who are builders, and you guys absolutely love this stuff, Nether Quartz, to build with, this farm, by the way, can also be automated. So if you don't want the EXP, this can be automated. And that there is because I removed the water source, by the way. It does normally fall on through. But in any case, um, this can be automated if you only wish to have the drops so you can get all of this stuff by automation without having to kill these guys. If you simply want this farm to be running in the background in order to use this for building um, building blocks because I know you guys do that sort of thing. Personally, I think Nether Quartz looks alright, but it's not my fancy, but uh, yeah, there's an option for us. Anyway. Let us have a look here. I'm going to stop this farm for a moment and then I'll show you guys how we build this. Okay. So, first things first, of course, pick yourself a nice flat area. In order for us to get this to work, we need to make use of the village mechanic, like you would similar with a uh, villager breeder. Get yourself a nice flat area and then go ahead and pick yourself a center block. Like this. So, level to the ground, dig two blocks down, and then from this block, count seven blocks in each direction. So, hole, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth block, you go ahead and build your wall. So that from the center hole, there should be seven blocks, and then a wall in all directions. Simple enough. Excellent. Now then, go ahead and put yourself two doors like this. It's one here, and one here. Two is all that we need. Don't put a door here or there, because the Aegis will some kind, uh, sometimes get stuck here. So just two doors like this would be fine. Okay. Now, in order for these to be valid doors, you know, to make use of the village mechanic, it needs to be either one or the other. So all of these need to be glass blocks. So... All of this glass, if you guys don't wish to make all of this out of glass, then you have to do it the other way around. So, for these to be valid, these are all glass blocks because glass counts as air, which is what these doors need in order to be valid. So, these all, the doors see all of these as air blocks, and this being a solid block in front, this is a glowstone block, but any solid block will work. So, for them to be valid, simply a solid block in the direction it's facing, and air quote unquote air blocks in all the directions in the other um, well what's the opposite end would be the proper words to use in order to make them valid 
So if you don't do all of these glass, if you want to do it the other way around, then simply make all of these glass blocks, this whole platform, solid blocks, and make this solid block, which is glowstone here, just turn that into a single block of glass. Then that will be fine. Alrighty. Then from there, we have to do a bit of buildy build. So, making my way in here, towards A end, whatever end, just pick your side. One of these walls, shorten it like this, and then replace them all with trapdoors. So, the second block, go ahead, replace them all with trapdoors, like so. Even this one. Cool, up until this would be a flush wall. Then go ahead and dig in here by three extra blocks. So, one, two, three, and this fourth one here. So we got three blocks here on this fourth one here. You put some more trapdoors like so. This is where we will be trapping our zombie in a moment. So from here, give it one, two more blocks, and then a wall. So in total, it looked like this. So this is where one of your walls would regularly be. Give it one, two, three, four, five more blocks, and then you build the actual wall, like so. Cool. Now, from here, put some solid blocks down, like so, apart from this one here, which is where our zombie will be resting in. So yes, we need to lure a zombie in here. Put trapdoors all around, like so, and around there, and around there. So we have this effect with these two blocks free here. Go ahead and then, during the night, uh, give him a solid block, obviously above, because otherwise the sun will kill him. And then you simply go ahead name tag him, as you can see this dude's named Johnny, and then lure him in there so he stays there forever. Cool. That is that part done. He is our bait of the operation. And then, from here, these are all signs. So, these are snow blocks at the moment. That isn't too important right now. But, just go ahead and put yourself a block of water, or is the water source block down here? We put a hopper here, pointing into this hopper, pointing into that one, which is simply where our loot will go. Simply two hoppers into a chest. You put yourself a sign here, and a sign there, and also a sign right here. Two signs here. Sign, sign. Cool, and that is simply to keep our water in there. So we have that effect. Nice forward, sideways, flip it sideways flowing effect so all of our items go in there and also it kind of pushes the Argus's a bit to the left there it's quite nice now from here count two blocks like so two by two yes okay put yourself a sign down here two signs actually so sign there sign there I'll leave back anyway it looked like this so sign there Sign there, blah, 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 and the same here, and the same there. So we have two by two blocks here. Then, very important, get yourself a bucket of poison. You need two buckets of poison. You put one here, and you put one there. Okay, so this is when our Aegis come through here. They get played as they move through here, and they end up in here, dropping their health to a nice and low level, enough for us to kill them in one shot. Cool. That is that part done and then of course you just enclose these sides around as you wish so you can get access in here build your little room here your roof whatever and on this side the same if you wish the reason for these trap doors is simply because if you guys can have a look here if i was an agus if i spawned here or if i spawn here anywhere we go we need line of sight with the zombie so anywhere they spawn Always line of sight, this is how this works. They will always spawn within this area next to these doors within seven blocks and then they will get aggroed. This is the only path they have, so they will go through here, get plagued, go sit there, we kill them. Easy peasy. Next thing is, of course, in order to validate these doors, we need to lure in a villager. You don't need a rock, villagers are actually pretty easy to lure. Um, villagers, if you guys didn't know, you can simply lure them using a block of emerald. So, you there, emerald here, yes, yes, yes. Doesn't matter which uh, which type he is, even though this is a nitwit, nitwit. Doesn't really matter, his purpose is to sit in this hole, right there. Forever. Cool. And there you see, it is now a valid village once again. 
They spawned pretty instantly and they went through there as we want them to. Apart from that, now you guys just go ahead, light this place on up so no zombies spawn in here. That will kill this guy and destroy our farm. Marvelous. Then, like I said, we can simply go through here. And we give them the old wacky wacky. You guys can hear them, uh, you know, being damaged and so on. And if we stood close on this, we would get plagued as well. See on the left hand side, there we go, we are now poisoned. Lovely stuff. So don't stand closer than this block. Yes, very annoying. And then we go ahead, give him a nice whack. Careful not to whack that guy. Those guys who, well, those of you who have got like arc slash or whatever, be, be careful not to kill your zombie dude over there. And that is how this, bleh, how this farm works. Why are words so hard suddenly? I don't know. But anyway, so that's how this farm works. Now then, let me show you guys. Oh, actually, let me show you one more thing before I do that. So, the thing is, this being a farm, they will always spawn um, Arguses. Uh, which is not too cool, because Arguses, if I were to get a uh, spawn egg here, Tremor, Spectre, Gru, Wraith, Argus, here we go. So what will happen is, let me see if this guy will spawn at any second, but Arguses will spawn and fuse with these dudes and turn into Spectres. Now, depending on what stage you are in the game, Spectre, um, it will either be a massive downside or an upside to you. Because they will be level 20, being a fused, uh, a fused mob, they will be level 20 or above. Um, so yeah, they will be quite beefy, but it does mean free emeralds. So, if you are within the early game, it is bad, very bad news. If you are within the mid to late game, then it's yay, free obsidian and emeralds. <laughs> right, let me just see... I was kind of hoping one of them would just spawn here. Let me just put this guy down here. I might need to spawn one manually to show you guys what I mean. Just give me an egg spawn egg. So you, look at that, boom, there we go. Right, so it'll turn into an ugly big fella like this. And yes, like I said, they'll be pretty high level. Let me just clear this weather real quick. There we go. So as you can see, how much life has this guy? He's got 100 life and he is level 20 exactly. If we were to kill this dude, even though he, his head is pretty much in the glass here at this, the way that he spawned here is pretty much safe because you can kind of chop him from below here. Let's test this before I, <laughs> before I give you guys bad advice. Let me just do this myself. Right, so let me game mode, game mode, game mode. Okay, so I'm in survival. And at the moment, you know what? This is actually an epic farm. Look at that. Let me do that once more. Have I got... Let me put myself back into creative. I'm going to try that once more because this could actually be... This is unintended, by the way. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. Argus, Argus, Argus. Unintended um, OP farm. So, okay. So it looks like this will keep on happening each time. And... Man, I got plagued because I was too close. But it appears that this farm is actually better than I thought. So, this appears to be doubled for an, uh, a Spectre farm. Huh. Well, would you look at that? That was completely unexpected, by the way, guys. <laughs> so, there you go. This is apparently also um, an Emerald farm. Lovely stuff. Back to creative. Now, to automate this... We go... I've got to stop this because these guys are going to be a bit annoying. So yeah, let me... Uh, let me quickly... Da, 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 do this. Uh, these guys don't really matter as much. The snow needs to be there. This is quite importante. Okay, so to make this an auto farm, we're going to go over here. Get yourself some snow blocks. This is what we need. So these dudes here. I've already gone in there and done that, but don't look at that right now. So, these here need to be snow blocks. And then these here need to be either path or farmland. Because they are technically smaller than a uh, than full block, which means hoppers can pick up items. So get yourself some path, you know, just a grass path. This one, you can just make it with a, with a shovel, right? So yeah, get yourself a grass block there, grass block there, and right click it, make yourself some path. And these two we leave on snow blocks. 
Then what we do is we get ourselves some of the frost fire charges, I think it's called. What is it? Let me just type in the fire charge. I know what it looks like. The one, this one. Ice fireball charge, which is dropped by Arixes. If you guys don't know what an Arix is, I'll quickly spawn one. It's these guys that you get from ooze farms. They're pretty easy. Stop that. So yeah, there we go. That's what the charges look like. They drop from there. Those guys are pretty much everywhere. Nice and easy. Then what we do is we shift right click with this charge on these snow blocks. And we close this back up like so. And then we put our trapdoor back on there. Now then. Underneath here. Actually destroyed that. Didn't mean to. So underneath this. Directly underneath these paths here. The grass path. You put simply a hopper into a hopper into a chest. It will pick up the drops that falls on that path. As for this part here. Above this. We put some rails. So shift right click rail there. And a rail there. And then we just give ourselves another crate. We put it there. Let me just go fill this up. Doesn't really matter. Then on these two rails you put yourself a minecart with a hopper. Yeah, minecart with hopper like so. One there, one there. And then you can close this on up like so. Cool. And that is that done. We can just make this a bit more comfortable, like so. Right, that is that done. Now this fire will burn forever. Because it's on snow. Which is, of course, excellent. Now, the only thing I need is for these eggs to spawn. And I can show you guys. There's an example, okay? There it goes. And this chest should be empty at the moment. Yeah, so let's see. Let's just watch this. Hop on through. There we go. And let's see. There we go. He gave us five nether quartz. This one here. If I were to empty this one, we can check with the next load that spawns. We just stand here for a moment and just get some uh, examples for you guys. The fire will do that, but for some reason it doesn't burn trapdoors. It's really weird. It tries to burn wooden items, but not trapdoors. So ignore the uh, animation that goes on there. It will never actually burn these trapdoors. Very, very strange. Come on. Give me some Ergases so I can demonstrate. I might just spawn a couple more so you guys can get the gist of it. It's just nice and automated and chilled. And if you do this, by the way, um, this automated method... So if you don't want the XP, you only want the nether quartz and so on, then uh, this won't spawn any um, any Arguses because it doesn't count as a player kill. So you can just leave this running, no Arguses will spawn, you'll just get a load of... Let me do it. I wish I didn't remove this now, there we go. Go long. Why is that a baby? Dude. A baby Argus, Aegis. How can that happen? Ah, oh, dude. Can they spawn us babies from the spawn egg, man? That just ruined my whole plan. Sorry, I have failed you in this video. Let me put another zombie in there. I didn't think that Aegis can actually spawn us babies if you spawn them with a spawn egg. Not supposed to happen, by the way. Never, ever... Have I ever seen a baby Aegis? And now, of course, they will not spawn. Let me just spawn with the egg away from them. So there, adult, adult, adult. You're a baby again. No, this is a small one. Adult, adult. Okay. Right. Cool. And then we end up with this beautiful mess of a noise. They all are still plagued, as you can see, with the... Um, Little particles going off them there. And, ha, ah, actually got them. <laughs> Nothing in that one there. As for this one, there we go. We got 10 other cords, 3 gold, 1 emerald, and 1 cleansing crystal. And then he. Yeah, what's up, dude? A bit creepy. Just kind of stood there. Okay, there we go. Well. As you can see, flames kill, and that gives us 
Once he dies, what do you give us? You give us nothing. How rude. And I spawn him in glass, and now that is not a baby, which is ideal. Anyway, you guys get the gist of it. I'm just kind of spawning at random here to double check. Everything is indeed working. But yeah, everything works like it should do. Blah, blah, blah. You guys can AFK, do other stuff. And then we just have a nice passive income here of emerald, gold nuggets, and all of this stuff here. I just want to keep on watching these numbers here. I want to like to see this go up. It does, it does look like it's obviously less um, than when you kill them by hand. Uh, actually, that's a fair amount of nether quartz there. So there we go, we just got 16 nether quartz in that batch. Cool. Okay. I'm trying to think if there is anything else. Uh, no, nah, I told you guys about the, uh, about the Argus spawn, which you will get. He will fuse, become a big badass. And it's good or bad, depending on where you are in the game. But as we have just learned, apparently... This is just a free farm, so if you run around through here at the bottom, and uh, yeah, you just hit them and hit them in the ass, and that appears to be fine, which is good news. Right, weather clear. I want some sunshine. Ah, there we go. Lovely stuff. Alrighty. Blah blah blah. Put this here, and let me stand like this. What am I hearing? So I thought it was a sea server for a second. Anyway. Cool, there you guys go. There is an Aegis XP farm, slash nether quartz, slash gold, slash emerald, slash obsidian, slash ender pearl farm for you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. And as usual, thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. If you found this entertaining or helpful, give me a like, subscribe. It will help my tiny channel grow, and that would be amazing. So yeah, please go ahead and do that. And apart from that, Happy all crafting guys, have yourself an awesome day, and this is Zerger saying goodbye! <laughs> Alright, cheers guys!